Michael, we have to, we have to talk about um, Tuesday, first of all. Was it a, a weird one for you? Have you been involved in something like that when you get to a ground and you're ready to go and then it just stops? Um, not for a very long time, to be honest. Probably back into my playing days as a youth player. But, um, yeah, a bit of a strange situation. But it's... Um, you know, in those situations, really, I feel for the fans that have travelled up and, you know, have spent a lot of money to come and play, and also their fans, both sets of fans. And I think it took a bit of time to get to the decision, probably the right one in the end because of the frozen pitch. But, yeah, it's just good that, uh, we, you know, can kind of get the game on again. And hopefully this time the clubs can support, which they are doing to get the fans up there. And talking to Danny just before you came in, I made a little change to the plan for the week, but they didn't have the, the day off that normally they would have post-match. I think you had them in doing a 5K. Um, yeah, so usually it's probably um, changed our plans a little bit because we, we plan obviously quite far in advance about um, their volume, their load, their training schedules. Um, so it kicked us out of schedule a little bit. But So yeah, I had them <laughs> doing some work away and coming in just to keep them keep them bubbling really. And is that what a 5k basically is on the treble is just to get them getting some athletic into them? Yeah because ultimately we had obviously planned in their training schedule to play minutes on the Tuesday night and then all of a sudden we hadn't trained that day so we missed a day's training so it was just trying to within the realms of you know not killing them just to make sure they keep ticking over really for, for Saturday. Well, I've seen the team in the last few weeks. One of the things that struck me is the the speed of the pass. It's quickened up a lot more first-time passing. It strikes me. Is that a message you've been trying to get across to the players? In certain moments, yep. In certain moments to be calm, but in other moments when to, when to speed up the attack and change the tempo in the attack. So it's more about changing the speed of the attack um, and when to do that. Um, and we've been working on that since I've come in, really, is those little things to, to try and improve us on the ball, really. And have you been happy with the response of the players? Yeah, the players have been great. Um, every day they work hard, we work hard. Um, they've been, you know, really good to work with so far. Good energy. And um, they're a great bunch of lads. You know, I think everybody can be proud of the group that they've strung together here. And um, yeah, so far so good in terms of their efforts. And getting towards uh, four weeks in now, not far <laughs> off, is, is, has it been what you expected being the, the manager? Obviously, it's different to being a, a coach of under-23s or under-21s. Um, yeah, in some ways, I think in some ways it's, it's different and a little bit more responsibility of the club and trying to support the club to go in the right direction. I think in other ways, football's football, right? And just want to improve players and keep developing a team. Um, but so far, so good. And we just keep pushing. I think we're going to go into a really you know, challenging Christmas period with the games coming up. Uh, hopefully we can pick up points. And what about the football? You'll have seen a lot of League One football, but it's different when you're up close on the touchline seeing it. You've had a, a variety of different styles of play to deal with in the last few weeks. Yeah, I'm loving it. I, I think there's some real good quality in the league. I think there's definitely, over the last few years, we've seen different styles. I think that's only great for the level in the league. Um, but yeah, it's a real challenge to get to grip with, with the different styles. And I think we'll see on Saturday another style. And I think they're going really strong. So I think, no, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited about what's to come, but really enjoying working against all the different teams, if you like. And just before I ask you about the, the game itself, can we just sort of behind the scenes a couple of things? You know, we're only, and this is where managers start sighing at journalists, we're only three or four weeks away from the, the transfer window. We know Lincoln City as a football club don't suddenly wake up on January the 1st and think, oh, I don't know who we're going to sign this week. Clearly, you're already planning, I'm assuming, with Jez George and the rest of the staff in terms of potential recruitment, potential changes, and looking at the loans that you have out. Yeah, for sure. We're, we're definitely looking at the loans that we have out. Um, we know some of the, the lads are doing well out, which is great. Um, we're looking at what we think we need to support, bring in, or you know any gaps that we think we might have to push. Um, but that's a, that's a process that the recruitment team and Jez do every week, all week. And we've got a really hard work in, in Ali and Mark Tracy and Jez. They're really hard working in, in that area. So... Um, we meet every week about that. So it's not a surprise. It's not something that comes out of the blue. It's a really planned, strategical approach, if you like, which I think is only good for, for Lincoln. And in terms of watching those players out on loan, do you see much of it? I know that it's very much Jez's area and that team, but do you tend to watch videos, see a bit of what they do, see yep. the data? I try to, yeah, whenever time allows. Uh, obviously, my day-to-day -day job is to try to put a successful team on the pitch, but I've definitely got um, one eye on what they're doing. And obviously, we have some lads come in like today, train back with us so I can see them in training as well. So I think it's a really nice balance of not seeing everything because I think it's it's not possible, but we've got a team that watches and then I watch and then 
Tom Shaw and Scotty are watching other players all the time as well. And some of the younger players also in action last night in the County Cup, not with due respect the competition that gets the fans excited, but nonetheless a, a good chance to run out against a team like Boston. Yep, I think it's a great local competition. You know, it's good to get um, some of the, again, see the young lads on the pitch and good result last night. I think, like you say, the fans enjoy it and I think it's, you know, it's good for the local community to come and see a Lincoln City team on the pitch as well. So yeah, really, really good game last night. I will ask about Wickham in a second, but the one final one about the injury situation with the the longer term injuries. Obviously, Ben, we assume, is somewhere off. Rico is somebody that I don't think we've talked about too much. Is is he any close? And what's the situation with Tyler? Yeah, so um, Rico is sort of starting back on the grass, which is good news, um, but that's still a, a bit to go. He's still a bit away, um, but hopefully we can get through his markers and his checkpoints. But it's good to see him, I think. Sat, no, was it sat a couple of days ago back on the grass, which is great. Um, so he's working hard. Ben, as we know, is a bit further. Um, and then Tyler, unfortunately, we know we've seen him. He's at his reoccurrence of an injury. He's seen a specialist. He's now had an operation. And we're probably, if we're honest, we we'll probably might not see him this season. I think if we see him this season again, I think that'd be really successful. So the, the medical team, Kieran and Co, are working really hard. But I think Tyler's probably the, the disappointing one, really. Um, in the building that for him more than anything you know he was close to coming back playing and we've just got to support him through this tough time but yeah that's probably the longer one that we probably won't see this season I was going to say for a, you know forget a footballer talk about a, a person mentally that must be very hard the, the job that you love and you want to do you're prevented from doing for something you can't control yeah sure it's not easy it's never easy being injured you know in any club you always have injured players and like you say that they love the job they do every day and they enjoy it. And I think in, in this moment, I think we're doing everything we can as a club and the medical team to support Tyler and Rico and Ben the same. I think we've got a superb medical and you know sports science team here that do a great job with the you know bespoke facilities, which is great to, to support those lads. So they're in every day working hard. And I've been really impressed with them actually. You know, every day early they're in doing their rehab, which is which is brilliant. Uh, Wigan, you have got a game. <laughs> um, <laughs> A deceptive position if you just glance casually at the table you, you'd be fooled as to what they are because obviously what's going on behind the scenes yeah sure so in in essence they you know they got their deduction points deduction so they're actually higher than is on goal difference and i think they're a really good team um we've obviously been there a lot really said i went to watch them last week against york live and i think they're really good with the ball you know he's got them playing some really nice stuff they play in a different way with two nines dropping us two tens and overloading so i think They've caused a lot of teams a lot of problems this season. I think they'll be a very tough team for us to go and uh, get some points out of on Sunday. But I guess you can take some real confidence in the last two away performances yeah. at uh, Orient and Cambridge, albeit they're different teams. Yeah, totally different teams, I think. Totally different challenges, which is great, like we spoke about the league. Um, this is going to be a tough challenge. This is going to be a really tough challenge for us. But if we can get something out of it and we can play well, we're going to have to play well. And then we can cause some damage go in the other way and try and expose them a little bit with their weaknesses. I think, uh, yeah, it's all to play for, really.